Hey folks, it's James, and if you're taking one of my Procreate courses or just checking out this video on YouTube, then you know the first step to learning to draw to scale in Procreate is downloading the digital assets that make drawing to scale possible. I've created a variety of digital tools for Procreate, like grid templates, scale rulers, FF&E templates, entourage stencils, and even custom brushes, and you'll be using these tools throughout the course and even in your own projects. But in this video, I'll show you how to quickly download them and set them up in your iCloud Drive so they're ready to go on your iPad. So grab your iPad, download the free Draw to Scale sample kit link below, and let's get started. Now, when you first open up your Procreate Accelerator course or any of the other online courses I make, you will see a kind of table of contents page which shows you all of the lessons that you'll be doing coming up it also shows you your progress bar once you start doing the lessons. But right at the top, you'll see, before you start, course assets for download. So go ahead and click on that. And up comes the next page, the actual individual lesson page. And this gives you the instructions for downloading the files you'll be using with this course. So come on over here and you'll see the download square here and click on either Imperial Architect Tools or Metric Architect Tools. And the next thing that will happen will be you will be prompted to tell your computer where to store these. And we want to pick our iCloud Drive. So if you're on some other folder at the moment or some other file, make sure you find your iCloud Drive. And once it's clicked, you'll see that the contents will appear over here and you'll see the zip file waiting to be downloaded up here. And go ahead and click Save, and that file will be transferred down to your iCloud Drive. Now I'm gonna go ahead and close my browser window to show you the rest of this exercise, and then I'm gonna come into my Finder and open up a new folder window, new Finder window, and inside that new Finder window, I'm going to find my iCloud Drive again and click on it. And there inside is the file I just downloaded. It's a second copy. I downloaded the same thing earlier. And now I can click on that. And there are all those folders that you saw listed in the directions for downloading. And if you click on any of these folders, you can begin to get acquainted with the contents inside and how you might use them. But what we want to do next is go to our iCloud Drive in our iPad and see the same files so we know how to use them inside Procreate. Now, if we switch over to the iPad, somewhere on your screen, and I keep it in my dock at the bottom, is this file folder icon. And that, if I tap on that, that gives you access to the locations where you might want to store something on your iPad. Here's the On My iPad file we've talked about in the past. And here's the iCloud Drive that shares items between your iPad and your desktop computer. So we'll go there, and there inside is the Imperial Architects Tools folder. Now, if you don't see it, remember you can sort these and filter these by date added, that kind of thing. I'll flip it. The date has now gone to a descending order, and I'll flip it back. And here is the Imperial Architects tool occurring at the very top of my iCloud Drive. Now when I tap on that, I see the same file folders that we saw in the directions for downloading at the site of the course, the first page of the course. And here are all the things we talked about. Grids and Entourage and all of these things that come with these courses. So I'll go ahead and flick my finger and close out of that. And now also down in my dock, I'm going to launch Procreate and up it comes and I'm in my gallery and you can see there have been a bunch of different projects. I've been working with different paper sizes recently, but let's say that you want to begin a project with an imported grid. So I'll go here up in the gallery at the top right and I'll tap on import. And when this dialog box comes up asking me where I would like to find the item I want to import, I'll go to my iCloud drive. And there at the top is the Imperial Architect tool set, already unpacked from the zip file. And now if I tap on that, I'll see all of those same folders that we talked about before. 
I'll scroll down to the grids and I'll launch an imperial grid with title and inside that folder are my choices and I think I'll go with a 17 by 11 so I can draw an eighth inch scale on the small grid and up comes that grid and remember you may not want to draw with only a grid so you can import the other items like scales and entourage right from that same action so I'll go to my actions menu in the wrench I go to insert a file up comes my choice of locations and of course I always want to be using the iCloud Drive there at the top of my directory are the architect tools I'll tap here and let's say we bring in a scale to work with this grid that we already have and inside the scale folder I'll scroll down and find the architect 18 scale and tap on that this is a half scale because it will move around more easily and notice that the scale and the grid are of course coordinated to work with each other so 0 to 8 corresponds to 0 to 8 on the grids now let's bring in some entourage just to get some practice at this I'll go back to my actions menu I'll tap insert a file I'll choose my iCloud drive in case my on my iPad drive is already selected I'll switch to iCloud drive I'll go to my architect tool folder and I'll go to the entourage folder this time and tap it and let's say that we're drawing an elevation and we want to choose from a bunch of different trees and I'll bring in the tree template and there you can see that now I've moved that with my fingers to scale it these trees aren't necessarily to scale because you can use them at any scale you want so that's it for how to bring in a JPEG or ping file from your iCloud Drive and I'll pinch to totally back out of that drawing now but what about those other funny file names that what if you wanted to bring in a brush for instance well remember those file names if I go back to my actions menu and go to insert a file and if I look back through that folder of architect tools there's this brush up here and there are these color palettes and if I open up the brush folder you'll see this strange dot brush set file name at the end and if I open up the color palettes you'll see this strange dot swatches file name at the end so these are a little different everything else is safe but the brushes and the color palettes specifically require a different process to bring in and I'll show that to you now so here is that same document we worked on and now I'm going to go into the brushes and let's say that I don't have this architect's brush set loaded yet I'm just like you I'm just going to load it up for the first time I've got the other brush sets that Procreate provides and I believe they start with sketching and inking and drawing and all those things but up here is a plus sign and I'm going to tap that plus sign and it's going to allow me to import things up here in the very top right and I'm going to go ahead and tap import and now if I go back to my iCloud Drive and open up the architect tools and open up the brushes now those files are active they're not grayed out they're ready to go and I can bring in the architects brush set or any of these other brush sets so let's go ahead and do that notice the little cloud icon here meaning it hasn't fully downloaded to my iPad yet from my desktop but I'm going to go ahead and tap that and get that process started so there it's cranking up you can see the progress this is a little more complicated for Procreate to bring this in and in it comes and there at the top is my new architects brush set now mine was already there down below so don't worry about that but yours will come in at the top and now if you tap it you'll see all those brushes that we've used in the YouTube videos and that you're about to start using in your Procreate Accelerator course and there are separate lessons for how to use all those but that's how you bring in brushes okay and now let's bring in those color swatches because you're going to need to do that at some point also for color swatches it's a very similar process for color swatches you tap on the color icon and under the general palettes icon all the way down here at the bottom right now if you're in one of these other icons 
harmony or value or classic or disc, you won't see it. But make sure you go back to the general palettes icon and at the top you will see the plus sign and go ahead and tap that similar to the one we found on the brushes. Tap that and ask it to bring in a new palette from a file. And we tap that and once again we are back at our iCloud Drive, our extremely useful hub of all of our activities. And I'm going to tap on the Architect Tools folder one more time and scroll to the color palettes then tap on the palettes mm -hmm. and there are the different palettes that will be used in your course and in some of my YouTube videos that you've gotten accustomed to already. And once again, you'll just import that. Let's say we're going to go with the medium palette swatches and you'll tap that cloud icon and there it is. It comes in at the top of your new palettes with a blue check indicating that it is active and you are ready to go and when any particular lesson calls for this palette, you'll have it all ready to go. To learn more about how to use these tools in detail, check out the links in the description below to the online courses I teach. And to see the next video in this series, check out this video here. And I will see you in the next video.